Ever since he brought her home, Jeff's daily routine revolves around Leia, his two-year-old fur kid. From enrichment classes to weekend swims, Jeff spends three thousand Singapore dollars, or about two thousand and two hundred U.S. dollars a month, to make sure Leia has the best of everything. It's not that different from regular child. There's daycare, medical expenses, going to the vet, for example. You know, just grooming. So before having Leia, I never knew all these offerings and services and options existed.、Um, from toys, from you know, birthday bakeries, specialized food、um, kitchens that like, only cater to fur kids. Gone are the days when pets were viewed as just animals. These days, parents are increasingly treating their pets as part of the family. During the pandemic, more fur kids have been adopted, which led to a massive boost in the pet industry. Joy Cha has been in the pet industry for over a decade now. She started out with a play school, but over the years, she has expanded her business into an enrichment center for dogs. We provide walking. So we bring the dogs out for、uh, the excursion, and then we also have different kinds of enrichment classes. Like we have our music class, <clears throat> we also have our art class and、uh, language classes as well. So we teach them, you know, how to even read, like A, B, C, and recognize words. And some of them can actually recognize their names on paper. Apart from face-to-face -face services, the pandemic has also accelerated digital innovation in the pet industry. My Pet Go is a smart wearable for dogs, which tracks their health and location. If it detects any unusual activity, the device sends out alerts to the owners. Essentially, we're a one-stop shop that has absolutely everything you need for your pet all in one place. Whether you want to track your pet's vital signs, whether you want to track the location of your pet, whether you want to book local services like televets or groomers or sitters or walkers. Data from business consulting firm Grandview Research. Suggests that the global pet care market size will reach close to 240 billion U.S. dollars by 2030. Local businesses also expect similar growth here in Singapore, as they are confident that the trend of pets being treated as family is definitely here to stay. Mirulu, CGTN, Singapore.